A Day in the Life of Bill Gates Bill Gates is one of the richest men on earth. Even if he has been the richest man in the world off and on for more than 30 years, Gates was never one for flashy possessions. Instead, he focused his fortune on philanthropy, hoping to improve the world thanks to his impressive means. The Microsoft founder has focused on charitable work in recent years. Gates and his wife Melinda run the philanthropic Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. His daily routine is often quite busy and varied as he travels the world and launches his new projects. Let's take a look at the daily routine of Bill Gates. Bill Gates was born William Henry Gates III on October 28, 1955 in Seattle, Washington. Bill Gates grew up in an upper middle class family with his older sister Christiane and youngest sister Libby. Their father William H. Gates Sr. was a good, if somewhat shy, law student when he met his future wife, Mary Maxwell. So what does the Microsoft co-founder get up to all day? Since stepping down from the helm of Microsoft in 2006, Gates started with his wife the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which donates money to research and charitable organizations. Almost all of Gates' time is spent on charity. Gates studied the work of Andrew Carnegie and John D. Rockefeller and donated some of his Microsoft stock in 1994 to create the William H. Gates Foundation. In 2000, Gates and his wife combined three family foundations and Gates donated stock valued at $5 billion to create the charitable Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which was identified by the funds for NGOs company in 2013 as the world's wealthiest charitable foundation, with assets reportedly valued at more than $34.6 billion. Not only has Gates already donated more than $30 billion to charity, he also encouraged many of the world's richest people to sign the giving pledge in which they commit to give away their entire net worth over the course of their lives. Even if Gates has been unseated as the world's richest man by Jeff Bezos, Gates insists he can't give his money away fast enough. Most of Gates' day-to-day -day activities are tied up in the charity, which has multiple arms specialized in education, arts and medicine among others. However, the primary goal of the organization is to eradicate preventable infectious diseases. This goal may not be accomplished in a lifetime, but definitely that won't stop him from trying. Bill Gates has gone from regularly working all night while building Microsoft to understanding the importance of sleep. Once or twice I stayed up two nights in a row. I knew I wasn't as sharp when I was operating mostly on caffeine and adrenaline, but I was obsessed with my work and I felt that sleeping a lot was lazy, he said. He usually skips breakfast, but when he indulges, Gates claims to enjoy the chocolate cereal cocoa puffs. After a sugary breakfast, Gates works it off in his home gym and spends an hour working out on the treadmill, while watching educational TV programs on DVD. On some mornings he learns about geology or meteorology, on others it can be oceanography or US history. He is particularly focused on topics related to public health policy, sharing his thoughts on his blog and via Twitter. In terms of exercise, he loves to play tennis. Unsurprisingly, his home is equipped with tennis courts and Gates even had the pleasure of playing doubles with famous tennis star Roger Federer in 2018. Gates is known to have a competitive spirit. Gates checks the headlines every morning. He typically reads the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal and The Economist. Gates has always been a book lover since he was a child. Every day Gates sets aside a set amount of time to read a book. He reads more than 50 books a year or about one a week. He recommends taking notes in the margins of the book and reading for at least an hour at a time to guarantee maximum comprehension. Gates also underlines the value of paper books over ebooks and commits to finish every book he starts even if he hates the contents. Bear in mind that Gates has access to some books that are not readily available. His 2100 square foot library includes two secret pivoting bookcases, one of which contains a bar. The Domed Room presents many rare books, including Leonardo da Vinci's famed Codex Leicester. 
Even if the billionaire is well into retirement, he still micromanages his days. Gates follows a very similar routine to Elon Musk, breaking down his daily schedule into 5 minute blocks in order to keep track of his plans and ideas. This is to ensure that he is perfectly productive with his day and no time is wasted. In order to make sense of this frenetic schedule, Gates is constantly taking notes. At midday Gates has lunch, often his first meal of the day. He has said in multiple interviews that his favorite meal is a cheeseburger. When asked what food he would bring with him on a deserted island, Gates emphatically said cheeseburgers. If he's not flying off somewhere, his day is an endless series of meetings. When he is not at work, Gates likes to spend most of his time with his wife Melinda and his three children. The story goes that in 1987, a 23-year-old Microsoft product manager named Melinda French fell in love with Bill Gates, then 32. The very bright and organized Melinda was a perfect match for Gates. On January 1st, 1994, Melinda and Bill were married in Hawaii. In 1996, their first daughter, Jennifer, was born. The son, Rory, was born in 1999 and a second daughter, Phoebe, arrived in 2002. Jennifer has interest in horses and skydiving, though her dad doesn't join her in the latter. But that isn't to say Gates doesn't have an adventurous spirit. He especially enjoys touring unusual locations like electrical plants and missile silos with his son. He likes learning along with me, said Gates. Even if Gates is functionally retired, it's worth mentioning that he maintains a very busy schedule. Over the decades, he has spent many hours acquiring property around Seattle in order to create a massive $70 million complex. The home includes a 2500 square foot gym, roughly the size of a commercial gym complex. The house has a trampoline room with a 20 foot ceiling. It's part of the fitness facility which perhaps answers some questions about how Gates likes to work out. When a guest arrives they are given a pin that interacts with sensors in each room in the house. Depending on their preferences the temperature, music and lighting will change in the house. Each room comes with its own touchpad to control the room environment. All this is of course in line with current smart home trends, so it wouldn't be a huge deal, except for the fact that the Gates family had all these in 1995. Gates wrote most of his book The Road Ahead here. This is a 280 pages autobiography that Gates wrote in 1996. On weekends, Gates loves playing the card game Bridge with his friends. His wife Melinda revealed in a past interview how their typical evening routine goes. Bill and our daughter Phoebe and I try to have dinner as often as we can together, usually around 6 pm, sometimes as late as 7 pm. Dinner is usually a mix of whatever Phoebe and Bill and I like, anything from Mexican food to Asian to steak dinners or fish. I try not to work after dinner. That was kind of a mantra I made for myself about 4 years ago. I'll often read, talk with Bill and then generally I'll watch something relaxing before bedtime with Bill or Phoebe, she said. To unwind at the end of a busy day, one of Gates' preferred options is to do some household chores. He finds washing the dishes quite enjoyable and a way to distress from the day. Other people do volunteer, but I like the way that I do it, he said. Before going to bed, he will typically read for an hour before ensuring he gets 7 hours of sleep each night. During one of his interviews, he said, Even though it's fun to stay up all night, if I have to be creative, I need 7 hours. I can give a speech without much sleep. I can do parts of my job that way, but in thinking creatively, I'm not much good without 7 hours. Bill Gates achieved a lot in his mid-twenties. After taking a leave of absence after two years of school at Harvard, he founded a computer software company with his high school friend Paul Allen. That company of course would become Microsoft, the most valuable publicly traded company in the world. Gates' success allowed him to increase his finances. He was the richest man on earth from 1995 to 2017 with a net worth of 89.9 billion dollars. 
Even if you may not be striving to be one of the wealthiest people on earth or building a giant software company, you can definitely understand why building your own habits would be extremely beneficial. Gates wrote his first software program at the age of 13. In high school he helped form a group of programmers who computerized their school's payroll system and founded Trafo Data, a company that sold traffic counting systems to local governments. In 1970, in 1975, Gates, then a sophomore at Harvard University, joined his hometown friend Allen to develop software for the first microcomputers. They began by adapting BASIC, a popular programming language used on large computers for use on microcomputers. With the success of this project in 1975, Gates dropped out of Harvard during his junior year and with Alan founded Microsoft, a blend of microcomputer and software. Gates' sway over the infant microcomputer industry greatly increased when Microsoft licensed an operating system called MS-DOS to International Business Machine Corporation, then the world's biggest computer supplier and industry pace setter. For use on its first microcomputer, the IBM PC. After the machine's release in 1981, IBM quickly set the technical standard for the PC industry and MS-DOS likewise pushed out competing operating systems. While Microsoft's independence strained the relations with IBM, Gates deftly manipulated the larger company so that it became permanently dependent on him for crucial software. Makers of IBM compatible PCs or clones also turned to Microsoft for their basic software. By the start of the 1990s he had become the PC industry's kingmaker. Largely on the strength of Microsoft's success, Gates collected a huge paper fortune as the company's largest individual shareholder. He became a paper billionaire in 1986. With few interests in Beyond Software and the potential of information technology, Gates at first preferred to stay out of the public eye, handling civic and philanthropic affairs indirectly through one of his foundations. Nevertheless, as Microsoft's power and the reputation grew, and especially as it attracted the attention of the US Justice Department's Antitrust Division, Gates, with some reluctance, became a more public figure. Currently 66 years old, Gates is the fourth richest man in the world behind Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos and Bernard Arnault. Every day he inspires millions of people across the globe. And yes, he makes more and more money every single day. Well, there you have it, the daily schedule of Bill Gates. What do you think of his daily schedule and how would you spend your day if you had the wealth of Bill Gates? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this consider turning on the notification bell. That way you are notified every time we upload a new video. If you want to discover how Warren Buffett schedules his days also check out this video right here which is going to show you exactly how he does it. And I'll see you in the next video.